Hey guys, how you doing? Big Guy Z here with some emergency news. As you're probably aware, I'm not really happy at the moment. There's some um, emergency British news once again. So if you're from another country, America, Australia, whatever, you're probably wondering what the hell is he on about. But um, basically, so um, is what I've heard today this morning. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this strange attire, army attire. Absolutely. Um, I just got back from uni, so that's what I wore for uni. And um, basically, just cut a long story short. Um, as you do, I usually woke up this morning, turn on radio, shower, green, change yada yada. As I was changing, they I was listening to the radio as I was changing, and the newsman of unveiled a story about a certain sitcom. BBC's not going out. Now it's again, oh, what's that about? Then BBC and Lee Max, BBC sitcom not going out. I'm like, oh, well, what's it about this? Has been axed. Hmm? Uh, what? 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 Why? 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 What's happened? What's wrong? Why is that? And uh, what's even more strange is that their rate, according to the news guy, um, their ratings were going up and not down. It's, it's like, why act something that's giving you ratings? Uh, apparently, just it was just a little small bulletin, but apparently they were struck for cash. So, okay, BBC, if you're from BBC or you are the BBC, whatever, if you're watching this, no offence to you, you're a great broadcasting corporation, I think, you know, Prentice, you know, you bring back my family, so you have redeemed yourself a little bit. A little bit self so, but not all your goods are 100 percent you know if you were strapped for cash yeah you could have dug a little deeper you know you do you do i'm pretty sure you have some programs that aren't giving you quite the ratings you want so but why that's like your best comedy i love not going out it's one of the last few like laugh out laugh out loud comedies there out there now and you know the third the third and more or less final series now has just ended and it's really what and apparently that final series is great in what more or less the most views and it was brilliant it was really funny but now it's just okay it's all done now you know back when when he announced Top of the Pops was at was acts as well. I liked Top of the Pots back then. But you know, I understood. It was understandable this time because I'm pretty sure it was low on ratings and now with Freeview and Sky, you know, give all those twenty four seven music channels that show videos, live performances, basically what Top of the Pots are doing every every Friday, these channels were doing it daily. So what you did there was understandable by acting it and and what when you when you ax it few years down the line you're thinking whoa hold on maybe we were a little bit too hasty and I was reading on news like you know a few years later about talks of bringing the show back so you know so that's my main news really I'm pretty surprised I'm not gonna say and I live I know I'm in Leeds now but you know Born and raised, and I'm living. That's my main home, London. And not going out did those amazing pictures of London, and with the jazzy music at the background, I'm really gonna miss that. I really hope you do a top of the pops and consider a comeback. Seriously, well, the only new episode not going out, or at least do an E4 and do reruns like Friends on E4. Do a rerun of a few of a few episodes now and then. There may be. You know, it'll soften that blow. You know, nurse the wound a little bit. You know what I'm saying? See, the only new, according to according to my sources, the only new not going out is going to be in what Christmas, Christmas special because it's already been filmed, so it's going to be broadcast next week. So go wait till December now. Damn. Till next not going out. Lee Mack, Tim Vive, you're watching. You probably be not, probably drowning your sorrow somewhere, but I feel for you, man. I mean, anyone who's involved in the show, I really feel for you. I, I apologize.
So even I'm apologising. So so that that has to happen. And you know, the website I was on, you know, do you have the usual posts or comments online? It's like, oh, the BBC, they simply haven't got a clue. Then, yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. So that's my main news, basically. The great BBC comedy not going out has been axed. And I, for one, I'm a bit unhappy. That did really make me... That's a, that was a down... It, my day-to-day wasn't terrible, but that was a downer on my day. That was a down on my day. I really liked that show. And now it's been axed. When ratings were going up. So I don't quite see the logic. But um, anyway, another thing I want to say. I'm a certain, you know, as I say, if you've, if you've rated, if you comment, if you subscribed, thank you. I know I've got very little. If you see my page now. I've upgraded myself to a reporter because, well, I do kind of report, don't I? I talk about news. Now then, I'm going to do something different. So if you're from America, sorry. I've been mainly um, British news. I might do a random blog. I'll see about doing a blog about these. My skull candies and heifers in general. I don't know. They're big in America, I've heard. So, and they're kind of big here, so. I might do a random blog on that soon. But I'm like I say, I'm a busy guy. So I just got back from uni. And the work is getting to me. But anyway. Yeah, certain news that gave me an idea. As, I, as you probably know, I did a half of one of my videos about the apprentice and about you know the guy who bought it and what have you and one of my users so i'm not connected to the internet right now i will if i was connected to the internet right if i was connected to the internet right now i would have uploaded that and checked but certain guy said that i should do an apprentice blog and i was thinking yeah yeah that's a good idea and so i tried to contact BC about music rights so because I really like to use the music but they go yeah you want to have a reason material go to this site and as well, as per usual didn't do me much of good so I contacted them again so I'm waiting on them but I might do I don't know I really don't know I might not do one in time so if I do decide hmm, I can give you a little preview of the first episode and that's um Hey ladies, we're in budget. So yeah, that's my little review on that. So I might do more little one line. Oh, it could be, that could be a new catch. So one line review, apprentice. For one quote, maybe. Or I might do one of that. I'm not sure. So yeah, anyway, that's my video. See, as you probably noticed, it's just one take, just one. There's no badly edited bits put together and stuff but um oh and by the way if you've heard some music at the background don't know if you heard any music at the background that's not me playing my music that's one of my flatmates using the kitchen radio while he cooks so so yeah and the main news again seen some reporter i might upgrade to director i don't know so in the main news um not going out is not going out anymore and you put a big gun, so he's unhappy about it. But anyway, as I usually say, as many catchphrases, much love, much love. Subscribe, rate, comment, much love. See ya.